Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended family, just thank you so much for being patient with yourself. I know I keep telling y'all every video, but I know, hey, we're all going through it to get to it. So I'm glad you're being patient with yourselves, learning more about your experiences as well as your gifts. It's all greatly a blessed uh, all grateful blessed so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light oh excuse me and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl can upload a video and if you are comfortable enough please go ahead and drop me a line or two I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up tell me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and hit you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the video has been very informative to you or it just gave you good vibes that you would love to share with a loved one or a friend or just a fellow empath, go ahead and please share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Once again, thank you so much for the love and support that you're giving me on the channel as well. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, um, my meditation song, well, meditation music in the back, is called Boost Positive Energy, Bringing Positive Changes Into Your Life. Meditation music, healing music. I will post that link in the description box below. And y'all, you remember I told you I'm going to go ahead and be still posting my daughter's website. So if you can go ahead and possibly go by there, even send her words of encouragement. If you can't, give a donation. If you can, it's just a couple of dollars. If you can also do that as well, it will greatly be appreciated. And she, I think she only has 20 days left. I forgot how many it is, but I think it's 20 days left. So if you can go ahead and contribute to that, it will greatly be appre appreciated. So with that being said, um, my video source told me to go ahead and do a video about uh, Twin Flame 101 when uh, Hayoka is when depression and anxiety creeps up on you. I was just like, okay, what am I, um, I got a list of content, but then when they don't want me to steer away from that and say okay you're gonna use this for later but we need you to talk about this now I'm like okay you know I ask y'all to give me some content or what y'all need me to go ahead and push out and I do that as well y'all I'm still doing my, my mox of drink I'm tired but I hey I need my energy because a lot of these vibes I'm pushing off to y'all it gets me tired yeah I've been going through a lot of that like you know like uh, you know sometimes when I get on my one-on-ones and or I do my video chats, you know, a lot of my my extended family said, Rosalind, do you ever have a bad day? Hell yes, I do. <laughs> you know, there's times I get irritated, but I just don't let y'all see that. Unless it's something that universe, source, or God, or whatever, well, I'm talking to the powers that be, want me to go ahead and show y'all that. Um, I really don't prefer to do that, to be honest with you, because I don't want nobody ever thinking that, you know, I'm doing that for attention, because I don't. I really don't. I don't like getting attention like that. I don't even like getting attention. But if it's positive, something I'm bringing towards the table, towards being something positive, now I don't mind that. But, you know, I don't want anybody to be on the little boo-boo committee or committee or whatever but it's just like they wanted me to talk about that because it's like we, we go through our times of despair we go through our times of having anxiety that's why it's like people that I'm connecting with um, if I tell them you know I love it when people connect with me on Facebook because I send them links to things that um, you might be experiencing at that time or I send them um, uh, you know meditation videos that has helped me that you know if I know it brings me some good vibes and it makes me feel calm you know I want to be able to share that with people you know it's just like people love to share stuff that you know it makes you miserable I love to share stuff that stuff that's gonna make you positive make you know bring something good to the table good towards something towards you because we go through enough you know especially us as empaths, it's like a daily struggle every day because it's like when you're you're around people, especially when you're not learning more about your gift and you know you're opening up to the universe about it, you become more sensitive 
towards different things, towards different energies. Uh, it could be in your neighborhood where you are you don't know where it's coming from. It's coming out of the blue. I mean, there's days that I could be laughing and be in a good state of mind, but then it's just something will come creep up on me and I'll start crying or get irritated or just feeling downright depressed. But it's okay. We're going through all these different emotions, but just don't, you know, just don't dwell on them. Because, you know, you're already going through different changes because of whatever, you know, situations you have been brought up in where you were raised around. It could be childhood abuse. It could have been sexual abuse. It could have been verbal, physical, any kind of abuse that, you know, has mentally scarred you for a good minute. You're still trying to heal from that. Don't be hard on yourself if you can't get over it. But don't dwell on it. You know, and I, I've had a bad habit of dwelling on stuff like that because I tell God, you know, it's not fair for what my family did to me. You know, they kept me away from my dad. Um, you know, they lived off of the trust fund he sent for me. You know, why me and my children struggled. You know, that was a lot, you know, a lot to, you know, heal from. Because it's like, if I talk about it, I try not to talk about it too much. Because I know, you know, I sit up here and wipe that slate clean. Like, I don't have any kind of animosity towards them. You know, even though it took a lot for me to go ahead and heal from that. You know, I don't dwell on it. It's just like I get frustrated at times when I still have to go through the things I go through because I felt like it was non-existent. It shouldn't happen. But I know I had to go through this for me to be able to help other people. And it's just like I've told y'all in the past, God will break you in so many different ways. And you try to get that concept like, why did I have to go through this? Why did you break me down like this? You know, it's so unbearable. But God had to get that full effect on you. You know, and I tell people that when you can break and blossom, that's a blessing. You know, all those three B's, break, blossom, and, you know, no, what is it? Not not three B's, break, bo break to blossom. That's what it is. And blessings, actually, so that is three B's. So, um, just going through that and be able to see the full effect on why you had to go through that pain. Why did you have to endure certain downfalls, setbacks, mishaps, mistakes, you know, like I told y'all before, you know, I'm not exactly where I want to be, but I know I'm heading towards that way. You know, I know my life is not going to always be this way. I know when I can help that one person, you know, I said I can't help heal the world. But just to be able to bring five or ten people towards my way and help them get peace and understanding about the reasons why they're going through the things they're going through. Knowing they can look more at their gift as being a blessing rather than a curse. Um, knowing that even though you have gone through so, something so terrible, so tragic, that you can heal from it. You know, um, being able to deal with certain things has been hard to deal with. Being able to accept it is another total, another subject. But I know for me to be able to come into my blessings, I can't keep holding on to things that are not happening to me anymore. Even though the memory will pop up and I say, I can't give this memory power over me anymore you know when I get upset because it's just like things will pop up in my head that I went through the things that I forgot about and I will break down and cry like you know why did they do that to me why you know why when you adopt somebody you should you know when people get their children up for adoption they want them to have a better life because they weren't able to provide for them themselves and then you did worse you know what I'm saying but it was just a lot to have to deal with you know, I, I just can't understand why, you know, I try to put myself in their shoes, like, you know, try to give understanding to why they did what they did. All I can say is I can't do that because I know I, I guess it's just when you try to look in the shoes like that of somebody who's really dark, you can only say they must have been very hurt as a child for them to be able to push that off on somebody else. That's the only thing I can come up with because I can't see that. I, how do I have a, a heart to do that? Even though I put my children in in a narcissistic vibe and you know that stuff that that right there is still hard to swallow from but I know I had to forgive myself for that um there are certain things that my children still cope with but there are certain things that they had to come to terms with and they were like mama I understand so you know that that was a lot for me to have to deal with because I you know I never wanted my children to look at me like I looked at my family you know for doing what they did to me so I try to correct that you know and it's, that's the blessing that came out of that even though I felt really bad for putting my children through certain situations I always let them know that I'm trying to correct that I try to go about things in a more positive way than like lashing out being so quick to you know snap um 
that's the blessing because before it didn't take much for me to get up under my skin and me snap like that but it's just like now it's like you know universal put me in certain situations just to see how I'm gonna react to it and I'm just like uh uh you know I seen <laughs> I seen what you were doing I know what you're doing because you all send somebody my way and they would like they would say some really stupid stuff to me to piss me off and it was just like, oh, I'm not, I'm not going to allow you to pull me out my character like that. I'll just stop talking to you before I let you do that. You know, and I'm just like, uh-uh. And they're like, see, she's learning. You know, you don't have to always, just because somebody slaps at, at you, people try to get up under your skin on purpose because they're obviously, you might have said something that it was truthful to them and they didn't want to hear it. So they're going to come at you and da 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 Okay, you know, this is my opinion, that's yours. You know, I feel a certain way, you feel a certain way, but you doing that ain't gonna make me change, but it's, I'm not gonna allow you to pull me out of my character like that because you're trying to get up under a button. You know, it's just certain people, you know, even when it came to family, I had to block them out of my life. If I feel like this is what you're gonna constantly do, and you know, this is not on the same level as me and that's not resonating with me, I just can't allow you to do that. So it's just like knowing you know, you're not going to always be in this dark space forever. You know, when you can accept for what happened and it's not it, what it was and be able to forgive that situation and forgive the people that put you in that situation, the better off you'll be. Because if you're trying to head towards a bigger and better thing for your life, you can't keep holding on to the things that has hurt and hindered you for so long. Because, you know, we have been mentally scarred to the point where it we have been labeled in certain mental complexes, you know, you're bipolar or you're schizophrenic or you're manic depressive or you're this you're that because of all the things that you have endured as a child when you can be able to look at these things and say you know what yes they labeled me as this but I don't have to claim this you know even though I, I told y'all you know they labeled me as this this and that but I'm not going to claim it you know I said I'm, I'm okay but if I know if those certain things come up, I know where they came from. They're triggering something from something I endured with my past. So to be able to do that, you know, empaths go through so much depression, just so much anxiety because we, we, we gravitate towards so much dark things. We go through so many different things that it's hard to explain at times. And, you know, you're just trying to get make sense of it. Like, gosh, you know, why do I have to go through these things? Why do, why do these bad memories keep coming up? When they keep resurfacing like that, it's because you put them off instead of actually facing it and just say, you know what, I'm not going to allow you to have power over me like that. And I'll tell my, my, my situation real quick. I'm going to let you pass by because I'm not going to engage in this. I'm not. <laughs> you know, because it's just like I'm not going to allow these things that has happened to me because they're not continuing to happen. You know, old memories will come up from what my family used to do. These are not happening to me anymore. I don't I haven't talked to them in four years, and I, I still don't plan to talk to them unless it has to have that chance that I have to talk to them. Other than that, you know, even when I have to talk to them, I really don't have anything to say because I gave them that chance. You know, I'll probably hear them out, but I don't have anything to say because I felt like I put that, I gave you that opportunity to tell the truth and you didn't. So, you know, but I'm not going to, you know, wish any ill will towards you. I just hope you heal from whatever you did that you tried to hurt me for. And, you know, and that's how I can feel about that. And that's a blessing to me when I no longer allow my past trauma to control my actions, control my outcomes, control my response on how I deal th with things. You know, I felt bad because the fact is... I was taught this growing up to the point where, you know, when my children were growing up, I didn't know how to love them the way they're supposed to be loved. You know, try to get that out, ideal beaver family. You know, I didn't know what that was about. I just went off and treated them like I was treated. And that, that's a bad thing. You know, and there was times I cried to my kids and asked them for forgiveness because, you know, I had to find love. You know, I loved them too. You know, I always loved my children, but you can't teach something you don't know. If you have not been prone to be open to that, you know, my, I wasn't able to really get that mother daughter situation, that perfect love me and my mom needed desperately in our lives. But my mom went through so much depression from all the things she went through with my dad. She didn't know how to deal with that, you know, deal with me in that way because I was a constant reminder. She lost her husband because of her trying to stand up for me. And that was a lot for her to have to deal with. So when you're going through situations, know that you can heal from them. 
no matter how bad it is. And I know it, you can be really going through some tough stuff, but if it's not happening to you anymore, you have to look at it like, okay, this is no, even though it's trying to affect me, it can no longer affect me because this is not happening to me anymore. This has happened, but it's not happening to me now. You have to put it in a past tense and say, okay, this has happened, but it, it can't affect me anymore. Don't allow the things that you have went through try to affect you because if you do, it's going to stop, it's going to really tarnish your future. So let go of them, heal, face your fears in this face. Let it know that you have no control over me anymore and it's not going to point out my character and it's not going to, you know, it's not going to get me to the point where I need to constantly respond to it. So know that you will get through these things. It's just all a process that we all have to go through. I hope you can heal. I pray for y'all each and every day. Um, I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. Y'all ain't going to be doing no shout outs because it's already over 15 minutes long. And when it's 15 minutes long, it takes like three or four hours just to upload. So I will talk to y'all later. Much love to you. Uh, sit on as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Peace. Be wild. Well.